What is up, Free to Play Nation? I'm the Free to Play Padawan. I love Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, but I hate spending money on mobile games. And I believe you can dominate this game without even spending a dime. And today, you guys, we are here to talk about the Free to Play Padawan Farming Guide for Building Momentum. This is the number one way that I know after playing the game for over six years in order to grow fast and have fun in this game. Now, if you look at this picture that I've drawn for you, I've got all these happy little trees. I've got this little bitty snowball at the top of the hill and this arrow showing that the snowball is falling down the hill. And as the snowball falls, if you guys ever played with snowballs, you know, when you roll them around in snow, they get bigger and bigger and bigger. Well, that is what is happening here in this picture. The snowball has gotten so big as it reaches the bottom of the hill, nothing can stop it. It's picking up trees, it's picking up snow, it's picking up everything, and it's becoming an unstoppable ball of madness. And that is what you will become if you follow the Free to Play Padawan Farming Guide for Growth. So let's get into it. How do you build momentum in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes? Well, there's three keys to it. The first one is doing well in the fleet arena. I cannot stress this enough. The fleet arena is the number one way for free to play players to get crystals in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. Now, crystals are the premium currency and CG has decided to just give us hundreds of crystals per day if we do well in the fleet arena and it is possible to do well in the fleet arena i know because i am doing it and there are many others that are doing it every day but how do you do well in the fleet arena well you have to get a good fleet and how do you get a good fleet getting into a great guild getting into a great guild is so important because there is a certain currency that you can only get from being in a great guild. In order to get into a great guild though, you have to have the right teams, and you have to have the right characters and the right plan so that your guild knows that you're going to be help a helpful member of the guild and not just somebody who's trying to be a backpack Yoda. In Free to Play Nation, we don't like backpack Yodas, we like to pull our own weight. Even if we're not spending any money, we still wanna be a main contributor in the guild in order to help the guild grow. And as a result, we're gonna get a bunch of resources from the guild through raids, through territory wars, territory battles, and uh, just generally all the, the, the benefits, especially if you're in a guild that has high ticket participation. In Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, if you are in a guild, you are generating raid tickets by spending your own energy up to 600 tickets per day and if you're in a guild that has all 50 people in the guild all of them doing 600 tickets a day you guys are doing raids so often and you're getting tons of currency all all different kinds of currency and gear and crystals from being in a great guild so you have to do well in the fleet arena to get those crystals Getting into a great guild helps you do well in Fleet Arena and helps you grow in many other ways, but then you have to participate in the raids. It's not enough just to be in a good guild. You have to also get high ranks in these raids. And how do you get high ranks in these raids? Well, you gotta have the right teams. So how do you know what the right teams are to get into a good guild, to do well in the Fleet Arena in order to get those crystals and all that momentum well that's what we are here to talk about today what are the right teams to go for in star wars galaxy of heroes when you are starting out let's switch over to the game and we will take a look now i'm going to go back to the top here starting off you guys just saw the whole thing that's okay just pretend like you didn't see that here we go when you're starting off in the game right at the very beginning these are the teams that you want to go for. These two teams right here. The first main team is the Newt Gunray led Geos. These Geos are one of the key teams that you need to get into a great guild and to do well in the fleet arena. 
and they do all right in the raids too not the greatest honestly but they do all right they're an okay first team to use in the raids but mostly getting into a good guild and doing great in the fleet arena especially these three sunfac geo spy and geo soldier they are all pilots of fantastic ships and they will help you get good ranks in the fleet arena and eventually they'll help you get top five in the fleet arena consistently i for my entire first year of my account use the executrix capital ship with the three geos and the vulture droid and uh, houndstooth in order to get top five in the fleet arena for the entire first year and then i finally unlocked the malevolence after one year because i wanted to show people that you can do it without the malevolence if you put enough investment in your pilots so anyway, we're getting ahead of ourselves. First main team, Nuke Gunray, Sunfac, Gene Ocean Spy, Gene Ocean Soldier, Poggle the Lesser. And then you're gonna need a light side team too. A lot of people go for the Phoenix early and the Phoenix are a great team to go for. But I believe that it is better to go for the Basila Shan led Jedi. You want Basila Shan, Ahsoka and Anakin, which the game gives you for free at the beginning of the game. You wanna keep farming them and get them all the way to seven stars. Mace Windu has become an incredible Jedi after his rework. And Grandmaster Yoda has been great forever. And so Grandmaster Yoda is a legendary character that you will need five Jedi to unlock. You can get Kanan or Ezra from the Phoenix Squad if you want to. It's a good idea. But the game gives you Old Ben. And if you want to just take Old Ben up to seven stars, he is a great Jedi to use as well. And you can use him to unlock Grandmaster Yoda. With these two teams working together, you're going to be able to get through your Galactic Wars almost every single day. I think I missed like four or five Galactic Wars on my climb from level one to level 85. I have been streaming my progress ever since day one, showing all the things that I'm showing you guys here. I stream for two hours at a time every time, and I have more than a hundred streams up so i have more than a couple hundred hours worth of content showing how you can do this plan because it's the same plan all the way up from level one all the way up to so far 3.4 million at about a year and a half uh worth of gameplay um okay so here we go so when you're leveling up from the beginning you want to pick four pilots to focus on primarily you're going to focus on Tarkin, Sunfac, Spy, and Soldier. You're going to focus a little bit on Ahsoka, but mostly you want to focus on those other four. Tarkin, Sunfac, Spy, and Soldier. You're also going to pick up a pilotless ship called the Vulture Droid. It is an early game farm. It is easy to get to it. I think I got to it on the first day of playing. If not the first day, it was the second day you can start farming the Vulture Droid and that way you've got him unlocked by the time you do Fleet Arena and you have a decent ship ready to go from there. And then when you reach level 83, you're able to go after Gene Ocean Brood Alpha and I highly recommend going after Brood Alpha because he makes the Geo team that much better of a team and then the Geos together can help you unlock Padme Amidala. Padme Amidala is going to take Anakin and Ahsoka and Yoda from your Jedi team gonna add them together with Kenobi and now you have a Padme team which is even better than the Basila Jedi team. Moving on from there we're starting to farm the ships for the finalizer because we are working towards SLKR but we are also working towards gas. So far the, the main teams you're going after are the Geos and the Basila Jedi which leads into the Padme team. Now you're starting to branch out a little bit. You need to get all the ships required for the finalizer, which are listed here in these next couple of slides. You're also going to get the ships that are good for the negotiator fleet. We're gonna be running them under Mace Windu for now in order to get the unlock for um, gas. Gas requires Galactic Republic ships and Mace Windu's uh, endurance ship is more than enough to get the job done in the gas event. You're going to need Anakin for the gas event and his ship. You're also going to need other Galactic Republic ships. We're going for Plo, Clo Plo Koon. And then here, these three pilots here in the First Order are another requirement for the finalizer. As you're going through, 
you have noticed some of these characters already. You're going to be picking up Fives, Rex, Echo, and Arc Trooper, and they all come from different places. And you're going to use all the good ships and fleets that you've built so far in order to get high enough to farm Shock T. Shock T's node is a difficult node to get to, but if you focus on the pilots that we're showing up here, Tarkin, Sunfax, Spy, and Soldier, and Ahsoka with that Vulture Droid, you're going to be able to get to the Shock T node no problem. And then you can get Shock T led clones, which is a fantastic raid team. It says first good raid team. When I say good, I mean really good. This is a great raid team, even at low gear. Because of Rex's aerial advantage, he does percentage of health damage to the boss. He can do millions of damage all by himself as long well he needs the team around him to support him but he's the one who does the big damage as we continue to go for gas we need to get the grievous droids in order to unlock gas and you don't need grievous to do gas but you might as well go for grievous because then you can get the malevolence capital ship and from being in a good guild and General Grievous will lead the Grievous Droids team that you use to unlock gas. And now you have another great team for conquest, for territory battles, for territory wars in Grand Arena. But we also need C-3PO to unlock gas. And so we need the Ewoks. These are the best Ewoks in my opinion. Chief Chirpa lead, Elder, Logre, Paplu, and Wicket. And as you can see, I've only got one Zeta on this team and no Omicrons. Or nothing that well omicrons wouldn't help you for the c-3po unlock but you need patience you need patience for the c-3po challenge i'm telling you it's difficult but now that we've got c-3po shock clones padme uh, and the galactic republic fleet and the grievous droids all of them are great teams by the way in and of themselves and now we use them all to unlock general skywalker who i've gotten pretty recently and i'm very excited about him this is a really fun team to use I'm just now getting the clones to where they're getting to Relic, and so this team is becoming better and better for me. This is right where I am in the farming guide right now. I haven't gone any further than this. Um, and now after you get your, grave, your uh, gas team where you want it to be, then you're going to put full steam ahead going for SLKR. Here's the hard nodes for SLKR, the cantina nodes for SLKR, and the shops for SLKR, and you also are gonna need Palpatine. Once you get the Phoenix, you can get Palpatine and Thrawn. So you might as well use the Phoenix to unlock Palpatine. You could use any Rebels that you want. You don't have to use the Phoenix. But if you're going to get Palpatine and you already have Vader, you might as well get Thrawn because they work really well together. And then the final culmination of this farming guide is Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. You've gotten all the requirements for him. You've got the finalizer definitely by now. I've already got the finalizer at five stars and I'm, I haven't even gotten the relics on my first order characters. I've got all the shards farmed. But if you follow this guide, you will have the teams that you need to get into a great guild. You will have the teams that you need to do well. Even in the challenge tier pit raid, you're going to do well in the challenge pit. So guilds are going to want you. They're going to want you because of your shock T clones. They're going to want you because of your Geos. They're going to want you because of your Padme team. They're going to want you because of your Gas team. And they're going to want you because you're going for SLKR. And then after you have all of these pieces of the puzzle, you have gotten almost all of the income that the game wants to throw at you. The game is sitting there with its hands full of gear and crystals and stuff. And it's just looking for people to give it to. And this is how you unlock the ability for it to throw all this stuff at you. And you can grow really fast, especially for a free to play player. Now I'm not saying that you can grow as fast as somebody who's spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars. That's just the reality of this game. People that pay will grow faster than people who don't pay. But if you don't wanna pay, but you still wanna grow as fast as possible, then follow the free to play nation farming guide the free to play padawan farming guide rather and uh and you i guarantee that you will have fun in this game i know that i am definitely having fun in this game now i'm just going to go back to these infographics really quick and i want to show you what happens what are the results of this farming guide 
you get maxed out malevolence fleet for top five fleet placement that's where we are right now we're able to get top five every time that we have time to try SLKR is going to be good for uh, arena placement and huge raid rewards and you also have a territory battles focused account that will make great guilds want you to join and remember you guys the free to play nation guiding principles I say remember but you're probably seeing this for the first time if you have legendary focus you stay focused on what you're going for and you exercise infinite patience you don't go after all the shiny stuff you stay focused on the task at hand then you will achieve unstoppable momentum and unstoppable momentum is what it's all about having fun in this game growing fast and helping other people grow as i said i have been streaming my progress for this account from day one you can go to my channel and see i have playlists broken up on the channel based on the galactic power that i was at the time you can go and find stuff that will be relevant to the galactic power i stream grand arena i show my dailies as i'm doing them so you can see how i'm spending my energy how i'm spending my crystals what i'm doing with the uh, currencies that the game gives me and i also show how to unlock legendaries i show how to do good damage in the raids my whole goal is to help new players have fun in this game that is the number one thing that i want so please put a comment on the video check the discord link in the description and come hang out with us in the discord if you have any questions as i said i have a detailed layout in the discord showing everything that i'm farming in the order that i'm farming it and i'm just going to keep that going so if you just wanted to follow everything that i'm doing it's all going to be there in the Discord. Well, I hope to see you guys at a live stream. I stream every Friday at 5 p.m. Eastern. And uh, we have a lot of fun going through this game. Free to Play Nation is a fun community to be a part of. And if you guys have any questions about this farming guide, it is my first official farming guide video that I've put out so far. All that I've put out for a year and a half are two hour streams, which I have a fun time making but they're long for a lot of people to see. And as I like to say at the end of every video, Jesus loves you.